today I'm talking about the Stanley number 71 router plane. The idea of the router plane is as with all other planes you have a sole which references off a flat side say the face side of a component and you have a blade. The blade is then rigidly held a certain distance from the sole, exposed a little bit so that when the sole is pressed down on the face and the plane is moved, the blade will cut a shaving. As with other planes, there are a couple of things that you can tune up to make your router plane work that much better. The first thing to check is the sole. If you have any irregularity there, and it rocks when it's down on the flat surface then it's going to make using the plane a lot more difficult so the first thing to do is to flatten the sole it's the same technique as I show with the number four in my restoration video we start on a relatively coarse grade of sandpaper on a flat surface press down move the sole backwards and forwards a bit and then check the wear pattern you should be able to see some scratches all over the surface once you've worn away enough material to get rid of any high points or low points then work through the grades of sandpaper finishing at about a 400 wet and dry paper will leave the surface smooth to the touch and a very light wipe with a candle will allow your router plane to move around very easily on the face of your work. Having flattened the sole, the next thing you should turn your attention to is whether the iron is held in the correct position. The iron is removed by unclamping the collar and taking the adjuster knob off the top of the threaded post. The clamping collar can be lifted off and the iron is free to move. I cover the sharpening of these blades in another video. When you've finished, place the flat face of the blade down on a flat surface and check that the post of the tool is parallel with the tri-square set up to the side. That should ensure that the front edge of the blade will be parallel with the work and that an even shaving will be removed. That is of course dependent on the tool post of the plane body having been machined correctly. That's not always the case. The tool rests in this V either inbound or outbound on the plane and if that V hasn't been machined vertical to the sole of the plane then the blade will not be parallel with the work. You can adjust that by using a mill file to slightly change the angle of the V. To check those faces again we can use the engineers tri-square set it against the face and then check for square with the sole of the plane. Once you've set that up and sharpened your blade you can reassemble. It's not always as easy to put these together without incurring some damage to the edge of the blade so just take care. Router planes come with a couple of accessories. A shoe on a post can be fitted here to close up the open throat on the plane. I prefer to attach a clear perspex sub base to mine. On the sole you'll see a couple of milled tracks. That takes this fence. So you can set the shaving at a certain distance from the edge of your work. 
there's a straight fence for use against straight sided pieces and there's a two point fence for curved work it's also very easy to make your own fences out of hardwood either tracked or not and then you can screw them through the various holes in the base it's very easy to add sub bases for additional support it's also possible to create a sub base which is angled and that allows you to take an angled cut in use the router plane is very easy set the sole down on the work loosen the collar and lower the blade until it touches the work that will be your starting point pinch the collar on release the adjuster so it contacts the top of the slot on the blade because of the backlash within both the nut and the threaded stud and also the difference in the width of the nut flange and the slot in the top of the cutter for example I've set my blade down to the level of the board I'm working on now I wish to make a cut so I only want to make a very thin shaving but if I release the collar now the flange on this nut is down at the bottom of this slot release the collar and the iron will just drop straight down until the other side of the slot hits the nut not very controlled so first I take out the backlash by twisting the adjuster nut so it contacts the top of the iron I lift the plane off the surface that I'm working on release the collar slightly then pressing down on the top of the iron I can advance the iron in a controlled manner by turning the nut then also pressing down on the tool tighten up the collar now my iron is set ready to take a fine shaving to retard the blade slightly I go through the opposite procedure I tighten down on the adjuster until it touches the, the other side of the slot release the collar slightly and then turn the nut anti-clockwise that raises the cutter in a controlled way press down on the top of the cutter tighten up on the collar and we raise the blade a tiny amount with a little practice those adjustments become second nature